Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Greg Peterson. And I'm Kim Thurman. Our big story tonight at 5 o'clock. Spanish Fort Police say 35-year-old Sean Wiggins was the man killed yesterday in a crash involving a Bratz bus on the causeway. A dozen people were on that bus. They were taken to three hospitals following the crash. Local 15's James Gordon is following the investigation into what caused the accident. He joins us live tonight on the causeway. James? Well, Greg, we've learned that Wiggins was a technician at a local body shop in Daphne. He was headed home when all this happened. Now, it's a mystery, police say, why he was driving the wrong way. Spanish Forts police chief says the black Chevy Blazer was headed westbound in the eastbound lane. We were trying to make the determination now as to what caused the vehicle to be traveling on the wrong side of the road, whether that was a result of driver condition, whether it was a result of the vehicle condition, if there was something that broke on the vehicle. Eleven passengers on this Bratz bus, all commuters from Baldwin County who work in Mobile, suffered injuries. The rural transports bus driver, 64-year-old Ray Mayo, broke his sternum. Everyone so far has been treated and released from three different hospitals. The scene was surreal when you got there. You know, the, uh, it was uh, people on stretchers and on the ground everywhere. They were triaging the injured, uh, you know, to, to transport those to their area hospitals, uh, mm -hmm. you know, on an as-needed uh, basis, you know, with the worst going first. Brass Transportation Director Taylor Ryder and his staff made sure the victim's relatives were notified, following each one to the hospital. Unfortunately, it was 35-year-old Sean Wiggins who did not make it. Very fortunate in, in the injuries that, uh, that occurred uh, for those 12 that were on the bus. Uh, of course, the, the fatality and, and condolences to that family. Again, it may take time to figure out exactly how this happened. Spanish Fort Police are heading the investigation. For now, we're live on the causeway. James Gordon, Local 15 News.